Greetings gentlemen and ladies, in today's video we are going to be fixing a rather obscure little error. And the error looks like this. Uh, attempting to move fully simulated skeletal mesh, etc, etc. Okay, this is a weird one. I just found the answer for how to fix it. I don't understand it, but it seems to work. So go ahead and open up the physics asset of your character. This occurs, by the way, you guys probably already know this if you're looking for this video, but this seems to occur when uh, enabling uh, ragdoll physics on your, on your character. All right, so here's how we fix that. So go ahead and open up the physics asset of your uh, character. From this uh, skeleton tree, you're gonna wanna look for show all bones. You'll probably also want to show bodies, which we've already got. Uh, I guess we could show, well, I know primitives don't matter. Constraints, sure, that doesn't matter. I think we just need to make sure that we can see the root bone here. Uh, go ahead and create a new body for the root bone. I'm gonna add a sphere for my root bone. There's my root bone sphere. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set my root bone body, this one right here, the green one, uh, to physics type of kinematic. And then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to unlock, sorry, that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the pelvis and I'm going to look for the pelvis constraints right down here. Uh, I'm gonna select all the pelvis constraints and I'm gonna go uh, and look at the linear limits over here and just switch them to be limited instead of locked. Again, a weird little quirk, a weird little fix. I don't even know why it works, but check it out. Dude still seems to be working pretty well. Um, and yet our error is gone. So, okay, that's it. Don't know why. Don't know why it happens. Don't know why that works, but that's how to fix it. Okay. Oh, and one additional error just came up that I noticed, and here's how to fix that. Uh, okay, so this, this is what happens. Okay, so when I walk up to the guy and I like walk into the to the you know the ridge, the physics body or the rag doll or whatever, uh, what I noticed is that I push him around and then I hit escape and it says uh, root bone has to have simulate physics enabled if you want to add force at location. I don't really care about that because every other component already is being pushed around as normal. It's just this new root bone that we added in. Uh, which uh, is causing the problem. So here's how I, I work around it. I worked around this. Don't know if this is best practice, probably not. But what I did is I took my uh, my uh, root my root um, uh, physics uh, body there that we that we just made a second ago. I moved it into the center sort of of my character where it's kind of going to be blocked and protected by other things. And I'm just going to scale it down, right? So basically you can't, you can't touch it. You can't bump into it because there's other things blocking the way. And basically the Unreal Engine add force at location is basically like one character bumping into the other character and trying to move it around. But this little guy is not configured to do that. And he's like the root bone. Uh, and we don't even want him to necessarily affect anything. So I'm just gonna slide him into the center uh, where he can't be bumped into. And watch, you'll see what happens now. The error goes away. I'll just kind of demonstrate here. Okay, and now we're gonna bump into the guy a bunch of times here. Bump, 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 bump. Press escape and no error. So I think we're off to the races. Okay, hope you guys have found this helpful. Uh, yeah, these obscure videos, you know, I, I'm, I'm never not surprised by how many views some of these super obscure fixes get. I almost don't even post these videos sometimes because I'm like, come on, that's so obscure. There's no way, there's no way that anybody's ever gonna search for that. And then thousands of views later on the video, I'm like, well, guess other people had that problem too. Like the one I did, one I actually did, uh, which like how to set the Unreal Engine quality level. I was like, okay, I, I can't be the only, I mean, I, I must be the only bonehead I was thinking who can't find how to set engine scalability settings. I'm like, everybody must know where this is. This is not even worth making, but it took me a long time to find where this was, like a few hours to try to find it. 
And I was like, okay, I'm gonna upload a video that shows where to find it. And I was like, everybody knows this. Nobody's ever gonna watch this video. That video has like 40,000 views now. So based on uh, some of the, you know, some of the things I've seen on my channel, I'm just uploading random helpful fixes here and there because it's amazing uh, you know how many people have the same problem so hope you guys if this has been you I hope you found this super obscure issue helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video but don't forget to check out my patreon I uh, just fired that up if you want to be supportive of this channel I have actually removed all the advertising on this channel just because YouTube doesn't pay uh, tutorial content creators like almost anything like the the ad value is just obscenely low so I've basically taken off all the ads on this channel so you guys don't have to waste your time and uh, switching over to patreon supported uh, tutorials so if you're feeling extra generous uh, that, that's 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 a thing that's a thing that I wouldn't uh, that would be very appreciative of and I'll see you guys in the next video all right